our last question of the day. Precious girl. Maybe, maybe we'll take one more after that. Question. Any advice on when you feel like you're never going to find the one because dating is exhausting? So I guess the question is how to maintain hope, how to maintain hope. You know, folks, I'm going to read you all something. So hold on one second. Part of my coaching practice, um, I share with my clientele my love mantra. So I'm going to read it to you all today. It's going to take a few minutes to read right here. This is what gives me hope and makes me get up every day for the process. So it starts out by saying, I'm in a mutually conscious, loving, passionate, playful, romantic relationship, spending three or four days and nights a week together, weekly leading to fully committed within one year. We feel excited to be with each other because we're immensely physically attracted to, adore, and desire each other, which feels fantastic. We experience chemistry in all areas of who we are, and we feel emotionally safe and secure when we're together as well as when we're apart. We feel wonderful because we communicate consciously, effortlessly in a free-flowing style. We are truly best friends, and our conversations feel balanced and respectful, carrying on for hours and hours at a time. The depth of our connection feels exhilarating as we help each other learn and grow by speaking freely from our hearts. We feel loved, cherished, and appreciated because we speak each other's love language. We feel grateful because we accept each other, which feels calming. We appreciate each other's gifts to the world and acknowledge each other's unique imperfections. We feel valued because we make a constant conscious effort to meet each other's needs, wants, and desires. We feel elated because we're truly compatible in every sense of the word. We appreciate most of the same things in life, and we maintain our individuality and our sovereignty. We're both deep. We're both emotionally secure to handle conflicts and differences with ease, which feels peaceful. We feel delighted and satisfied because we spend a significant amount of time together in shared activities and hobbies. We love to laugh and play all the time, which feels liberating. We love each other's sense of humor and the banter can go on for hours and hours at a time. We feel joy because our family and friends are an important part of our daily relationship. We are a perfect match and feel safe, content, satisfied, and peaceful. We feel protected and safe with each other and can live a bountiful life because we believe in partnership and support one another financially, which feels grounding. We feel amazing because we're truly compatible sexually and we feel an amazing desire of, of, of passion, intimacy, which feels sensational. We feel ecstatic because our daily intimate practice is a vital ritual for our relationship success and fulfills each other's desires while strengthening our commitment to nurturing sexuality, intimacy, and vulnerability. We feel serene because we're both secure in who we are and come from a heartfelt place where we cherish one another with integrity, honesty, and respect. We feel in harmony because we are aligned in our core values on life, health, finance, charity, <laughs> finance, charity community, family, fun, pleasure, travel, prosperity, and spirituality. We feel fabulous because we're a partnership and can co-create the future looking through the same window. We feel wonderful because we have created the roots uh, for long-term commitment and trust, which feels grounding and whole. We are in alignment on our core beliefs and are fully committed to maintaining a long-term loving relationship, which feels supportive. We're both deeply, madly, and deliriously in love with each other and express gratitude daily with attention, affection, and appreciation, which feels incredible. Lastly, our mutual crazy and weirdness is what bonds us together, which feels fucking liberating. And finally, when we say I love you to each other, we mean, I'm here. You matter. We are important. I've got your back. I'm not going anywhere, and I only want you. Folks, this is my love mantra. And this was this is how I maintain that knowing, not hope, not belief, that knowing that an amazing person will enter in my life. And it doesn't matter when that happens. That could happen one year before my, my death, or it can happen one minute from today, or, or after I finish this live stream anyway. 
we have to find that hope that that knowing I should say that knowing within us and when you actually know something is going to happen you don't feel fear you don't feel you don't feel desperate you don't feel frustrated you just operate by fall off the horse seven times get up eight times and that's what this is all about so folks i get the frustration it's very fair to have it and at the same time if you want to create a love mantra similar to mine, this is all what my coaching program is about to help you determine true compatibility for yourself. Learn how to ask the right questions to know if he's compatible with you, how to vet for emotional maturity, and then allow your intuition to be the driving force in your relationship. Are you willing to do that? Check out the link to a free discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. All right. Uh, if you like my mantra, please give me an amen. I'd like to hear it. Thank you so much. Oh, Elaine says that was beautiful. Thank you so much. Holly says, thank you so much, Jonathan. I love your lives. Uh, Sherry says, I know it. I will find it. Way to go. 